I was uh, very close to my to the my parish, Christ the King, and um, they were run, it was run by Holy Cross priests, brothers and sisters, and so I came to know it through them, through their service and ministry. I started to think about priesthood and Holy Cross in high school. I was very involved in the parish, and I saw what the Holy Cross men and women did there, and I wanted to imitate them. I wanted to do what they did. I saw their friendliness, their openness. I saw their joy, frankly, and that was really that was what really attracted me to Holy Cross, is the joy of the people who had professed vows, who had been ordained, and who were doing the work. For me, joining Holy Cross, a large community, was a natural fit because I was born into a community with ten children. I think what I like about that, what draws me to community and family, is the same thing. It's a sense of camaraderie, it's trusting in one another, it is being there for one another and sharing in life's joys and sorrows. I love that about my family and I love that about Holy Cross. I think um, right now it's what's freshest in my mind is the uh, work with the poor and the homeless in Phoenix. And I love that because it was hands-on, it was very tangible. You know, I, theology is one thing, ministry, prayer, preaching, but to give someone food, to help someone with clothing and with the basic necessities of life really meant a lot to me and it was, it was a way I could really live the gospel. And that's what I really enjoyed about that ministry. Working with the poor and the homeless in Phoenix with hundreds and hundreds of people every day, people asked, where, how do you bring hope to them? How, where is the hope? I think for, for me and for us in Holy Cross, it's bringing hope to people in individual ways every day. Just saying, you know, come and eat with us here, share in what we have. There is something else other than the drugs and the street and the prostitution that surrounds us. There is hope, there is another life, not just here in this world, but ultimately in the next world, in the kingdom of heaven. And our little actions and our big actions give people hope in that regard. Great. If someone is discerning a religious vocation, I would tell them to, to take little steps in discerning. And by that I mean, you know, it's, you can't figure out one day to the next, should I be a priest, should I be a brother or sister? I think what you need to do is be involved in your church, maybe proclaim, be a proclaimer in a parish, teach Sunday school, help with the youth ministry. If you like that, go on a retreat. If that you know, speaks to you, if you like that, take another step and another. So many people told me, they said, wow, you were 18 when you entered. Did you really know you were going to be a priest? No, I didn't know. I knew I was going to give it a try. I liked that. I took another step and another step, and it made sense, and I knew that this was for me. Mm -hmm.